Hello everybody and welcome back to Niche and I thought I'd uh, start this episode with a little look at the overall island and you can see how much I've started to colonise this island. I think I'm doing alright. So I think we were just in the middle of really just uh, moving these guys over to the new nest. Unfortunately there was a big rock in the way which is very annoying so we're trying to sort of pop them through little gap over here. So I will carry on with that to start with. We've got four food there so that's fine. It's enough to move them a little way before I need to gather some more. The rabbit ran away. Kind of expected honestly. Kind of expected. You and you. We're just making this pathway here between the nest over here and the nest up here which I hope will be on this tile. We should have a look at the tiles around it though just to make sure that there are no more nests around there. I'm sure there probably are to be quite honest with you because everywhere else that we've found nests we found at least two. So I would be surprised to find one on its own. Now there's some meat here so we'll just get you to pick that up. I think it might even be predator meat because if it is then I'll get 10 out of it. No it wasn't. But still, that's alright. I'm quite happy with that. It'll still give us a, a few turns worth of movement. Can you? No, you can't. Can you? Yes, you can. Get some berries off that bush. But you can pick that nut off the floor. Um, you can shake the tree. Uh, you can pick that nut off the floor. Okay, so we've got some uh, decent food now and we can move about. I'd probably rather have movement than babies at the moment, honestly. Right, so you. Um, get over here. And make that live. You get there. Okay, so I think it's time to take another turn unless I really want to make more babies. I could do. Plenty of life in the fathers though, so I'll leave it for this turn I think. Although you should definitely get the berries off there. Yeah, I think we're good. I do wonder whether the nests are like sort of near trees, so there might actually like be a nest around this tree somewhere. No, just a hunch. But I might try and clear that tree up and uh, make it into just a food gathering area because the nuts that fall off the trees are actually pretty good. Quite enjoy having those. They've really uh, sort of helped me survive. Okay, let's just take a turn. Someone got hurt there. I could hear a little squeak. Who got hurt? I don't think there was anyone around here. Maybe, it, oh, sometimes they just squeak when you click on them, so maybe that's what they were doing. Right, so you can make it to the nest this time. The. Ah. Oh. That's not a nest. Oh no. But I'm certain there was one. Around here somewhere. Okay, well at the very least we found a berry bush. Um, oh, how annoying is this? Just trying to sort of... Uh, scope the area out. I was certain that there was a nest over here of some description. And I'm very frustrated that I can't find it again. I'm sure that they were almost on top of a nest when they died over here so oh, I don't know where it is. I just know it's frustrating. 
try nearer down down nearer to the tree try a few things i mean it's not like we can't just uncover a little bit more land and try and work with that i'm sure that there are more nests on this island there's got to be has to be i'm sure of it yeah i'm gonna move the babies out of these nests and make some more babies so you little one can move out here and you little one can move out here or not okay I guess you're doing that next turn then and you can just make another baby and now we have one food left yay okay so let's go back to the sort of more main colony we've got over here we'll pick up a bit more food Got another baby here. Let's see what the genes are like on that baby. I energy immunity. That's good. Not bad at all. Why don't we just do that? More babies are good babies. Problem is by oh no! A big predator came. Good job you have five attack. Now that was unfortunate. Already got damage on this one. That's not good. No. And we've got babies here, but no food. Okay, we're going to have to take another turn, I think. And then we can try and get more food. Yeah, let's do that. Not even going to move anyone. We're just going to pick up this food. Pick up the food. Move there. Gonna move this baby out of the nest. There's another female. Females are good. And that's another male. So that's really good. That will keep things going. Um, B, I, G and A. Ooh, that's good. Good combination there. Okay. Now we can have another berry from there. Right, and we can also have a berry from this berry bush. I will unleash it. Uh, we can have that rabbit as well. Let's just spread out a little bit. Ah, there's the nest. Yes, I knew it would hiss somewhere. That bird's in the way. Right, so now that is visible. I don't like these dodo mingos. They don't have enough food on them to be worth killing. At all. Unless, well maybe that's a, a point for having someone with like 8 damage. Maybe someone with 8 damage could take one of those out in one turn and it would be worth the food. Worth the action points for the food. But if you have to take 3 swipes at it, it's not worth it at all. So this is more an in the middle sort of nest. Which is pretty cool. And you're a female. And we just need to wait for the dodo Mingo to get his butt out of the way. Oh, I don't know. So in the way. Okay, I'll just turn the turn over so we can get a bit more food. We'll shake the tree again. Shake the tree. That's a few bits of food there. I do with almost putting someone there because there always seems to be a piece of food that falls down that way. And you can come out of the nest. And so can you. Green eyes. I like the, that's quite a nice look. I like the spotty red main green eyes sort of look. Yeah. Okay, let's get some more pregnancies on the go. So what have we got? A B and a B. Not good. 
an I and a B. So I do think we're going to need to eventually bring some people from creatures, not people. I always say people. Uh, some creatures from the other tribes to try and get some more genetic community um, diversity going there. So we've got like G and I over here, G and a B, I and an A, G and an A. A G and an A would be a brilliant one to send back over there. But unfortunately that one's female so we'll probably more send the males running around the place. We've got another baby over here. Taro, who is an A and an E, which is brilliant. And a B and an A, not so great. That E immunity is really handy though. So you will be handy for breeding because you will have, I'll probably put you in a nest. A D immunity from Duduk as well. So Duduk really should be breeding. Definitely. So if you move out. No! do this all the time. You move out, you move in, and you breed and we'll see if we can get the D, the D immunity back into that tribe. Because if I can have A, B, G, I, E, D, then we're pretty much just missing C. Um, a, B, D, E, and, oh yeah, C and F at that point. We've got everything else on the map, which is brilliant. Do we have an F anywhere? Yes, you have an F. So F could be in this tribe. And then I can just send the children of the tribes out and mingle them together. That'll be very good. I am getting fed up with this Dodo Mingo sitting in the nest. I wonder if that's what they do. I wonder if that's part of the problem, is that they hog nests. Wow, how much did you... Two attack. All right then. Uh, you you shouldn't be in the nest either. Ah, uh, you guys suck. Okay, but we have a berry bush and we have a nest, so that's all good. You come over here. Start getting the nest uh, available. Oh, so there's another dodo mingo. So yeah, they are nest hogs by the looks of it. We need to keep them out of our nests, which is something I'm quite good at because I normally keep the nests fairly free. Uh, so, sorry, I keep them occupied. Not free, I keep them occupied, but free of dodomingos. That's what I was trying to say. Okay. What else are we going to do this turn? Other than muck everything up. Are you pregnant? Yes. Are you pregnant? I think so. Looks pregnant. I'm just overweight. I'm not pregnant. Oh no. How terrible am I? Now she's pregnant. Okay, so now I've finished like making up a whole little story about offending these creatures. Um, right, I think maybe some more diversity here. So we've got an eye immunity, double eye immunity there. I, G, B, I, B. So we don't really want G, B and I, B, so B, that's two females, another female, another female, that's a male with a double B immunity which is going to be a really bad breed for that one, I and B, yeah we need, we need more males over here honestly, if I can bring a male from one of the other ones. G and an F. I am thinking you should maybe be in a nest then. G and a B. I and a B. G and an I. G and an F. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do this. Oh, I shouldn't be doing it well, like, ah, uh, have no food. Okay, you. Can't even get into the nest in one go. Typical. Okay. 
Hungry, but still pregnant. Okay, so... <laughs> I'll pick up a couple of these berries off of the uh, nuts off the floor even. They're not berries, they are nuts. Um, and we'll see what we can do over here. Oh, you could try and get that rabbit. Nicely done. There's a baby with an F and an I immunity. That would be really good to send down the other way. B and an I. B is everywhere. It's really annoying. G and an A on that one. Gonna be staying here though. I do really need to start sending them on trips. Immunity trips. So, so far we've got a path going around the island all the way around here. I could actually do a little shortcut there. Goes all the way down to the coast there. Goes all the way around here. And all the way up to here. What I could probably do with doing is making a pathway to connect these two up. Just to allow just e um, easy sort of travelling of uh, genetic diversity to the different regions. Okay. Let's just turn the day over, I think. So we're getting a nice little lot of... Um, nice little colony over here with lots and lots of creatures. You! Your first kill! There you go. So there's going to be some food over here that we can just pick up off the floor hopefully. Yep, there we go. Lovely, that'll allow me to move uh, our guys around a little bit more. Need to get the right one in the nest here. Oh, Dodo Mingo! You suck. Okay, but we've got more, bigger problems on our hands here. So, who's got really good fighting? Let's see. Three attack, three attack, two attack. There, go there. One, two. Oh, that sucks. We've run out of food. Okay. We've at least... We've damaged all of our guys, but at least we've got some uh, food that we can pick up next time. And the Dodo Mingo is back in the nest. That so sucks. Right, well, I think I found out what Dodo Mingos do anyway. Let's have another turn and we can start picking the meat up off the floor. So I think that was just a rabbit, so that'll just give us a couple. Um, there's a rabbit right here. That's a predator, so that should give us a lot of meat. Right, you go and defend the nest. Good. Right, so who do I want to breed together? So we have a genetic immunity going on here of a B and a G. A B and a G. A B and a G. Not good. An E and an F. Right, that is going to be the breed, I think. And the dodo mingo can be lunch. Now if one of you goes to stand there, you can start taking berries off the berry bush which will help with the overall food situation. So there we are, so we've got another lot of nests now, so we have four, four separate communities on this island. I'm really really happy with that. Very happy. I wonder if I can sneak up on this rabbit. Who have we got here? Poor and very poor. We're starting to get um, some good pores going now. No pore seems to be almost exist uh, non-existent at this point. We've really done well with that. So I think the next thing to really try and do is to get rid of Spitznout. And to do that I'm going to put Antler and Ramhorn both in if I can. Which I think I can. So Ramhorn on a 10% and Antler on a 30%. We're going to do that for a while and see what kind of faces we end up with. And as I say, if blindness takes over, we will then put normal eyes in for genetic drift as well. So let's see what's going on over here. What have we got? We've got no babies, that's what we've got. No, we've got a baby here with some good immunities. So, out you come. And 
let's do another breed. Um, this one can't move just now. Oh, we can do that as well. So they're all pregnant except the one looking after a baby, that's fine. Really trying to... I don't think I'll do so many breedings over here as I'm doing elsewhere. But we will get some food. There's food there. That one died. That's unfortunate. I could have done that in one move. Never mind. Okay, so the dad has died there. Lots and lots and lots of females here. So B immunity, which is not ideal. I and B is fine. G and F is actually... F yeah, no, you know what? You're actually fine. Actually a good breeder there. Okay, so we'll just wait for them to grow up, which is good. And what's going on over here? I think we just checked, didn't we? And over here, do we have a baby yet? No, so we already did that bit. And over here. Of course. I am so bad at that. Oh cool, a rabbit came straight to see him. How good is that? Can this one move? No. Right, okay. Time for turn changing the turnover. So this nest here is really going to be, these two nests are going to really be the nests where I'm going to want to make a really good colony. So possibly moving good um, breeding children from other colonies would be good. That was a really, really bad one. Blind kid with decent immunities, but also a spit snout. That's, that's a terrible breed, that one. Really bad. So that would be B and G together. That's not a great prospect either. But we could do it. We could do it next time. Just need a little time and we'll get it sorted. Okay, time for another turn, I, th I think. Okay, these babies have all grown up so they can all come out. What's wrong with that baby? Why won't he move? He's not getting a turn. No paw as well, that's annoying. You can move though, can't you? No paw there as well. So we might need to... Um, Try and sort out this whole no poor business. So maybe just keeping Kirnu as the breeder here. Um, while we can. Um, yeah, lots and lots of no poor. Who's given all the no poor? You got paws, you got paws, you got paws, you are no paws. So it's because the main male has no paws, so that's the problem. So if we can get a male that, that has paws then we'll be good. Only one of the mothers has no paw. Is there anyone over here that I would like to send up to somewhere else just to help with the diversity? I and a B. And a... Oh, they're both female. No good males here at all. Let's see if there's any in the other places. That's a, such a new colony, there won't be. Um, we need another female to sit in that nest. Are you a boy? No. Your boy? Yes. A and E, that would be good. Berry paws, antlers, good and strong. Blindness gene is still there though. But that's okay. We can. We're gonna send you anyway, I think go to the other nest uh, and you pick some berries so that your mate can go over there and not be all like yeah 
could go over there and not be all like hungry and damaged because of the hunger. Need someone to go in and nest who's a female. BNA, BNA, that's not good. E and G. Okay, you know what? You get out the nest. You get in that nest. You get... Oh no. A and D. B and A. Oh, that's annoying. You know, you're going to be the best over here. Also, you can pick stuff off that berry bush there. So, yeah, that's good. And you can go there. And I know I'm moving people without uh, moving creatures without any food, but uh, sometimes you've got to do that, you know? Okay, so I think you can get pregnant. Actually, no, because I've got no food. It's not good times. Let's see if we can get some uh, berries over here. Yes, we've got some nuts and berries and things over here. It's a good food place, this. And you can get those. That's a little better. Right, so I can afford a pregnancy now. Over this side. And a pregnancy here. No, you're already pregnant. Oh, we'll do that. Who cares? We'll just have a random baby. We'll have a baby for love. Okay. Ah, perfect. You are now a grown adult. My blind baby can come out of the nest. Oh, I suck so hard. Right. That berry bush has got nothing in it. I, I expect I'll need to get the rabbits away because they are probably eating my berries there. In fact, I expect the rabbits there will be doing the same. Um, cool, got another baby there. We are moving slowly but surely towards more desirable uh, pairings there. So you come here, and we'll do another baby, and we'll hope that that one's not blind this time. Um, okay, Isra's also female, right, okay, I've got two males and two females up here, interesting. Good if we find another nest though. Let's have a little look around, shall we? Never hurts. Oops. Sometimes I, I said never hurts just as I hurt one of them. That's pretty bad. But yeah, we just want to be able to see around our nesting sites. Definitely, I reckon there'll be a nest around here somewhere. And maybe around here somewhere. I reckon there'll be enough nests eventually to cover sort of the whole island with creatures and be able to just sit them there, gathering berries and breeding until I've got the exact right genetic um, traits that I want. Then we will move them to the super duper hard island and we'll see what we can do there. But anyway, that for me is the end of the episode, I think. And if you liked it, then please leave me a like below. And if you would like to watch more niche and see how I do when I get to the super duper hard island, then please subscribe and I'll let you know when the new videos are out. I hope to see you next time. But in the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome. <laughs>